give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and the apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopefully elect brother out there pushing his word of truth and sincerity. Bashem, Kakwadash. Shalom to the hopefully elect brother out there pushing his word. You know, that we're doing his work, laboring, not wavering. And the one third as well. Because these are the women and children who are going to be saved in the last time, in the last days. All right, shalom. And uh, this video is going to be about Thanos uh, of that movie, uh, Avengers: Infinity Wars. You know, I went to go see that, and you know, you can always take some spiritual out of the movies that's um, getting played out there in the theaters. You know, and, and Thanos, you know had some good points made some good points and he represented some things you know that can be filtered through the scriptures man and the spiritual because you know uh brothers went to go see that you know brother did video on it videos on it you know and ultimately we know that they lack 144,000. we're gonna be the superheroes man we're gonna be the real superheroes with superpowers once we once we get risen up you know what i'm saying once we get once we get risen up, we're gonna be the real uh, people uh, who, who can fly, who can have strength, ultimate strength, who can teleport, and who can do all these things, go to different galaxies and things like that. And uh, this guy Thanos, you know, he he uh, represented some spiritual man. You know, yeah, he, he he everybody you know was coming up against him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody wanted to kill him, man. You know? One thing he did do wrong was he, I guess he he sacrificed he, uh, uh, on the left-hand side. It wasn't totally righteous, but, hey, uh, he had some spiritual aspects to it, you know, because he did end up throwing this chick off the ledge and trying to sacrifice for her for more power. You know what I'm saying? But he did want to, hey, cleanse the earth, rid, uh, he looked at the uh, these people as peons, you know. He looked at the looked at the, the majority of these people like worthless, which they, which they are, and not fruitful. You know, and this guy had ruling class menta uh, ruling class mentality. Okay. But hey, that's how they gonna do you, Howard John. Like who you ignorantly call uh, Jesus is the which his name is Yahweh Shai. They're gonna ignorantly try to. Ignorant, ig they're gonna come up against them, man. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna try to come up against who you call uh, 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 Jesus at the end, and they're gonna start stop fighting each other and come against him. Man. Try to come against him, but it ain't gonna work. This is the book of Isaiah 66 and 15. Chala gonna get destroyed. <laughs> the Chala, uh, uh, the king, the uh, Wakanda kingdom. You know, it, 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 that ain't gonna be the kingdom. The kingdom will be of Yahweh Shimei Al Shai's man. You know what I'm saying? That's how it's gonna be because this place is wicked. You know, and, and the only righteous place is gonna be the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? You know, the Chala two third, uh, uh, Kun nigga, African. Shala, the Lord gonna destroy him, man. Isaiah 50. Let's say. I get it. I just get it at the 
scriptures. My uh, sword. But yeah, man, this world, this, this, uh, this world's gonna be destroyed. The people in it, cause they ain't, they ain't following after the law, statutes, and commandments, and they ain't taking heed to anything that the Lord is showing them, such as the prophecies. Isaiah 54 and 16 I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bring forth an instrument for his work and I have created the waster to destroy God, so he, he created the smith that blew the coals so the smith is the person who created the missiles the nuclear missiles man alright and he's going to create he created them to create this nuclear missiles is going to destroy the earth this new into the nuclear uh, uh, ICBMs and all of them that's going to hit here in America and cleanse this place they uh, they and they're really going to cleanse it cuz uh Thanos you know said this place has to be uh, wiped out for 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 balance and that's true and that's and that's the truth man you know what i'm saying this place has to be wiped uh wiped out okay that's the, the Lord will set everything up for a purpose for it to come to fruition. Okay, it, it ain't there for no reason. You know, and the Esau showing this on the left hand side with these movies, you know, and these just uh because I like he got the Georgia Guy stones. You know, he knows ultimately he's trying to act like the Lord, but he knows what's gonna to come to pass, man. The Lord gonna do it. Ultimately, if Esau and he gonna he gonna have Esau to do some of it. Uh, this is uh, Second Ezra nine and two. Then, sh then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right. So this is gonna be the it's gonna be the very time when uh, hey, Yahweh Shai gonna come back and visit this world which he made because Yahweh Shai created everything. When you shitting on everything Yahweh Shai created, making it uh, defiled and an abomination, putting abominations in it. So he made it, he's pissed off. The, uh, uh, from the foundation of the earth with the all angels, Yahweh gave, Yahweh gave him the uh, blueprint to create it. And he's gonna come back and visit this place, bro. You know, it is just like, uh, hey, Thanos got the power through the Infinity Stones. Yahweh Shai already got the power. Uh, he's gonna come back and, and set up the right kingdom, the right, the real righteous kingdom, not with Edomite superheroes and. African warriors in it, man. There's gonna be 144,000 Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, man. In power, okay. Lord willing, ruling in righteousness. That's how the Lord's gonna come back. This is the book of. Uh, I'm gonna get this. I'm sword. This is uh. This is Proverbs 11 and 1. It reads. False balance is ab is abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is His delight. Con, because a false balance is abomination, man. You got a false balance here in, on the planet Earth. You know it's nothing but straight folly, and that's what this place, this place uh, promotes. That's straight folly, man. You know, uh, pride, arrogancy. You know, uh, uh, uh. Abominations, okay, uh, and idol worship. They don't recognize the uh, Yahweh Shai. They want to do their own thing. They think them, themselves is God. Okay. This is uh, I'm gonna read on. It says when verse two, say when pride cometh, then cometh verse uh, socket. It says when pride cometh, then. Sh cometh shame, but with uh, lowly is wisdom. Kind, cause you seen uh, that guy Thor and that other Edomite. You know they were going back and forth, but they were proud, man. You can tell that Thor. Thor was just thought uh, he had it all together, man. He just he's just the ultimate Edomite, man. The ultimate badass, uh, uh, top flight, top gun Edomite, man. You know Billy Badass. 
cut the but hey, uh, Thor didn't destroy uh, Thanos. Okay, just like the UN, uh, these troops, Esau, these other nations, they they gonna destroy Yahweh Shai. They ain't gonna destroy Yahweh Shai. They gonna they gonna have the innate minds that they can. <laughs> so I get. But they ain't gonna uh. They ain't gonna destroy Yahweh Shai as much as they really want to. They ain't gonna kill him. This is Ecclesiasticus 10 and 9. It says, Why is earth and ashes proud? There is not there's not a more wicked thing than a covetous man. For such a and one setteth his own soul to sell, because while he liveth he cast away his bowels. Right. So on the right hand side instead of instead of uh getting all the stones to, to get the ultimate power and, and sacrificing some uh, fucking high yellow bitch to get the power and he just uh, Yao Shai is already, already gonna have the power man you know uh, instead of doing all these prerequisites to try to get the power Yao Shai is already gonna have the power he's just gonna get the green light from Yahweh man from uh, our heavenly father you know He's gonna give him the green light because you already, y'all should just wait patiently, you know. And then, he, but they say, you know, he's gonna get the green light to come back and to fight with him and his angels, you know, uh, 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 with the archangel and all and all the other angels, man, in the in the hundred forty four thousand who got the spiritual power. That's how he's gonna come back. Way stronger than, way more than anybody, uh. Uh, can uh, can imagine or can fathom, man. You know. This is Second Ezra fifteen and six. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and and their and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Con. Let's read again. Second Ezra fifteen and six. For for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Con. So wickedness is but for um. Exceeded the whole earth, earth, so that's why it gotta be destroyed. From one end to the other, man. From here to to Brazil, to England, to Russia, to China, to Antarctica, North Pole. There's wickedness, man. It ain't fully, fully hundred percent righteousness here on the planet Earth, man. You know, it, it uh, is not the law, statutes, and commandments is not. A, a, a final finale in this um, in this place in, in America. It's not it's not the end all be all. And the Lord, His name ain't being magnified here. So it's wickedness, man. There is things there's shit there's things against this place. Okay, there's things set up to for, to purposely be against Yahabashim um, Yashah for a reason. Okay. And with that, it's going to be wickedness for it to be destroyed, uh, uh, ultimately. And righteously so, man. Just like, like the, the Thanos say, man. You know? Got to get rid of, got basically got to get rid of the wicked. Okay? Ultimately. And with that, the Lord willing, brother's going to go see that, man. So it's not a bad uh, movie. It's not a bad movie, man. It's pretty decent. It's pretty good. Okay? With that, I'm gonna say all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yashai, the honors of elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopefully elect brethren. Shalom.